Okay guys, in this next video series, we're gonna fix this. I bought this uh, model at a show for $5. And the plan is, is to, you know, it can suffer from build quality issues, there's gaps, the plastic's loose and all around. Just the attention to detail is sorely lacking for you know, much above anything and so the, what we're going to do is we're going to fix it and then we're going to sell it on consignment at the local hobby store and the first step is going to be and I'm not going to demonstrate these things to you on camera but we're going to start by filing these things off and seeing how much of these panels I can get un up so that I can refit them properly because if you can see there's a like a two millimeter gap here that has been mismeasured this is probably fixable but there's something blocking the space here so I got to figure out where that's coming from this wall is completely malaligned they didn't even I don't know how they screwed this up because it's a simple piece that just goes along the bottom like that. So I gotta see if I can't figure out how to get this thing. And hopefully I used a CA. I could just use CA release and I can get this all taken apart. Or at least somewhat taken apart enough so that I can get these pieces back together in the, in the proper location. Now it doesn't have to come completely apart. It just has to come, come apart enough piece by piece, section by section, and then I can, so let's do a little test on camera here, a little uncure, oh, yeah, so I did use CA, so now what I can do is I can release these, do a little bit of fine sanding, filler. Keep tipping water to get that CA release off. I don't like the green stuff or the blue, you know, that stuff just don't like it. This magic sculpt is fantastic. Buy it in small amounts from some guy who uses a, buys a lot of it and sells, breaks it down into parts online on eBay. Even though it's more expensive to buy it that way, this stuff lasts about as long as the green and blue stuff. And I just like it. It works better for me. If green stuff and blue stuff works for you, then use that stuff at your discretion. And the thing about this two-part epoxy is you can work it longer than you can with the blue and the green stuff. Minutes worth of uncure, every bad 
joint, with the exception of one, is loose, and the sides are off the building so that I can get everything re-squared up. Some of these are even not adhered properly, so I'll go ahead and take care of those and the, when I put this thing all back together. But I think we've got a pretty nice foundation for a salvageable kit. All I have to do is most of these pieces and parts back in place. building will be square and together to a point where we can do something beautiful with it. So far I've done a lot of sanding on these little fans. They're still a little rough but we're going to get painted and then I've sanded these areas smooth and you can see the highlight, the discoloration, but we're gonna put a roofing material on top of this and I'm not worried about the scratches here once we get all this glued back on so everything is glued flush there. And I'm in the process of doing these fans, getting these fans done and I've also sanded this area smooth so that they're flush. Now I've started gluing and filling these two joints, but I messed this one up because I opened this place up to get some release these places, release these um, brackets because they were forcing the uh, item apart. So I'm unglued. I'm going to have to redo some work on this joint right here that I thought was done, but uh, so far we're making progress. Now one thing I noticed is that when this thing broke apart that I'm missing a piece of this here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to have to hide this with some sort of appliance. And uh, I'll show you how I do that when I get to that. And I was looking around on the internet to see what people were doing. And we're gonna do a little bit something different on this. And so what, I'm gonna, what I wanna do is light the inside of this building. And I was thinking about lighting it from here along this line right here and have the light shine this way and this way so when these are on place these windows are really bright and these lights do ambient just are indirectly are indirectly lit so that you get two different intensities from the top and the bottom uh, since I don't do electrical something I'm gonna have to figure out and then the other thing I'm planning on doing is cleaning these windows up. Somebody online that did a real nice job of hiding these by creating a piece of plastic that, that made these things all one piece and, and hit, hit these rough joints. So I'm probably going to do something similar on the two ends. And I don't think it's as prevalent on this because the, the structure pieces hide what's not attractive over here, but I still might end up coming on the top and bottom and, and doing something to clean this line up on both sides to make it look a little bit more finished. And then that'll leave me a nice reveal. This is weird because this has a Already has a reveal. Are these those two different heights? Yeah, I didn't notice that. They're two different heights. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, I'll have to figure that figure that into the whole equation too now. But uh, that's where we're at as of today. So I'm waiting for glue to dry. And then uh, we'll start working on the inside of this and clean this, uh, clean these interiors up. That's the next step. Well, 
I did notice this on the last video, but I said that when I remember when I said that this this reveal, this side had a reveal on it that the other side didn't. I thought the roof was on the wrong side. Well, the reality is, is that this window was this whole wall was put in upside down, which explains why I couldn't get this side to fit. So I took the wall off completely, and I'm gonna re-glue it here correctly. Try to figure out why this thing won't go together correctly, but and I also took off the stacks because they were crooked as well. So I'm gonna have some cleaning up to do around here and trying to figure out how. Gonna get these parts to go together the way the factory meant to because this is upside down as well this needs to be flipped over oh, that's not right because i filled in that gap right there that's why it doesn't work okay so we'll get that corrected and get it back up and on to the next deal okay so i don't have the door to this but I need to have something here. And this sort of looks over scale to me anyways. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these and replace these brackets with a uh, different L bracket out of my standard stock in order to represent the garage door that normally goes there in the kit. Uh, I wasn't given those pieces when I bought it this. And so uh, we're gonna have to make shift something here to fill in this door opening. And I have a few ideas about that. Okay, so we're at, a, we're at an intermediate step here, kind of show you what I'm doing and gonna enclose those upper windows. And uh, we're gonna do something with this. We're gonna paint these black. Um, probably won't ever be seen, but uh, now the plan ultimately is, is that we are gonna paint the interior of all of this into a, uh, away from this brown color and into something that's closer to gray and what that'll do. I'm not gonna do all this for these smaller windows. I may do it here at the doors, in the front and back, just because it, uh, these things are, I bought lights, LED lights, gonna try them out. And uh, so they're gonna be over here on the lower level so I get that look that I was saying where this gets lit up by, or this gets lit up by ambient light and this gets lit up by direct lighting. And I also got some vinyl that I'm going to put over this. Um, I was going to do multicolors, but I now I think I'm just going to tint them out in uh, standard vinyl. And I'll, when that comes in, I'll show you that. And uh, well, that's the intermediate step. So right now I'm in the process of you know figuring out where I'm going to put these lights. And uh, I was thinking about putting them along here. And I think I also mentioned I thought about putting them along here. But uh, they may end up going along this wall. They may end up going along this wall up here. Possibly. They're gonna be a six inch strip and they're gonna be I'm gonna be bright, which is fine. And uh, but uh, again, these are things I'm still trying to work out. So what I'm also gonna do is that once I get the walls cut in, I'm going to you can see how nicely this all fits together now that that piece is on right, is I'm gonna cut this, oh, cut these off. And then I'll make an insert for here. So if whoever ends up buying this wants to, and yeah, they can do whatever they want, but then it's all gonna be painted one color. And I'm gonna put a boiler. This, the, the smokestacks go here. So I'm gonna put a boiler right here. And then I'm gonna go to my uh, detailed parts list. And I'm gonna put some miscellaneous objects in here so that shadows are thrown off the light, or the light gets blocked and so that there's shadows throughout this thing. So whenever, whenever it whenever get pulled up, and also, if you look into here, you'll see something that's in here. It's not just completely empty. I'm not gonna fully detail it like a workshop, 
just put in enough detail so that if somebody can look in there and they can, you know, they, it looks like some business is going on, but uh, not going to make a huge project out of it. So that's where we're at on day three, or hour three, however you calculate the time. Okay, so here's the crude plastic pieces put in place in the upper window mount and uh, in place. What I've discovered also is when I fix that other place, this thing, this model just popped up in place, so the rest of this is going to be a breeze. So, painted the walls. This is the color. This is just a dark gray. And uh, here's how I hid that missing piece. And I'm going to have to put a little bit more gray paint on this one, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's dirty is better. And what I'm going to do is I'll take the plastic filler and I'll clean up these lines, sand down, and I'll paint the interior of all this gray. And one of the things I noticed also probably didn't have to do all that work because once I painted these basically made all that uh, issues disappear so anyways it's done and it'll look fine and uh, so right now I'm just waiting for my parts to come in and so this is gonna take a back seat for at least a little while I will paint the inside I'm gonna dirty these up. They should be weathered with black because these, th uh, these bars and uh, any sort of machine shop get really dirty. And then once my other pieces come in off of eBay, I can finish this model up and uh, get to the painting on the outside of the building. And uh, gluing it all together and doing the finish work. So uh, the next step is obviously going to be I'm going to paint the base of this one color gray to concrete to match. Cut this piece out, paint the inside, and then uh, we're waiting for pieces and parts.